don't believe that anymore. <laughs> nope. He doesn't believe that today, I can tell you that. Turn over to Jude. And in Jude, chapter 1. The servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Now he refers to himself not as the brother of Christ but as the servant of Christ. And he says, preserved in Jesus Christ and called. First of all, those that are sanctified it means that they're set, called up, set aside. Those that are preserved in Jesus Christ. That preserved means that God is able to do exactly what He says He will do. He will keep you into salvation. That means you cannot lose your salvation. Amen. No. Does it mean that if you live in such a manner that brings dishonor to God, He won't take you home early, or that He won't make you wish that He was going to take you home early, but it means that you will never lose your salvation. And called. God has called every, every, every single individual that's saved, God has called you. Every single individual. Time and time again you've heard people say, I remember when I found the Lord. No, nope, you never found the Lord. He was never lost. You were lost. He found you. Amen. God says that no man seeketh after Him. Not one. He finds us. Amen? Amen. Beloved, when I give all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. What does he say? Number one, we all get saved the same way. Common salvation means every single person gets saved the same way. Right. You repent of your sin, you call upon the name of the Lord, you ask for forgiveness, and you receive Christ as your Savior. That's what he's talking about. Now, then he says this, that we should earnestly, that word earnestly means truthfully, truthfully contend for the faith. Truthfully, sincerely contend for the faith. What does that mean? That means when somebody makes a snide remark or mocks God, you folks are to stand up boldly and rebuke them. You're to refute, to rebuke, to reprove. If you don't, your silence is spoken. You see, if you don't do that, Jesus said what? Those that deny Him before the Father, so shall He deny before man. Or those that deny Him before man, so shall He deny before the Father. Got it backwards. Huh? So when you have look, look. You got one or two options. When you hear people mocking God, you either stand up, reprove them, rebuke them, or have all of eternity to wish you had. You'll have all of eternity to wish that you had. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our Lord into lasciviousness and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. There are more of them today than there's ever been. More today. Uh, there is more apostasy in the world than there's ever been, and it's going to get a lot worse. You're going to find out that... Uh, I just heard some Baptist preacher the other day saying he, he believes that, that only 5%, only 5% of what is the professing church is really the professing church. That was his opinion. Uh, I don't know how he came to that conclusion, but he may very well be right. Yeah. Jesus said many are, are called, but few are chosen. Most people think it's going to be about a third because with the nation of Israel, and how God kind of reacts with the church and the nation of Israel in a similar way. But I don't know. But I know out there the vast majority today 
especially those in the pulpits. I know Satan is doing his best work from the pulpits of what are supposed to be churches. And I know the vast majority of them that are supposed to be churches are not. Mm. The synagogues of Satan. So you can disagree with me all day long, and that's one thing, but when you when you disagree with the Word of God, folks, you're fighting a battle you can never win. Amen? Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and with that, we're going to close up. We've been coming to you from Doers of the Word Baptist Church at 14781 Sperry Road in Newberry, Ohio. You're listening to us on the Liberty Works Radio Network. That is the Eagle 104.3 FM in Tampa, Hanokawa. And until next week, we want to say good morning. God bless. And remember, always, always, keep fighting the fight.